At around 3 p.m. on December 16, 2004, tourist Lenka Mirzolkova was lounging on West Beach near Adelaide in southern Australia. As she looked across the beautiful calm water, something caught her eye, and she would take this picture of what she was looking at. Now, at the time, Lenka thought that maybe she was seeing a very large dolphin, but had she known a little bit more about the local wildlife, she would have realized that she was not looking at a dolphin. About 15 minutes later, or 3.15 p.m., four teenage boys were 300 meters offshore enjoying the day in their 4.5-meter aluminum boat. These were 18-year-old Nick Peterson and 16-year-olds Andrew Tomlin, Adam Floriani, and Ty Wheeler. Now, what these four boys were doing was taking turns dragging one another behind the boat being towed on a surfboard that was attached by a rope. So they've been doing it for a little while, and Andrew was the first one being towed. When Andrew yells up at the other boys, he says, Hey guys, my turn's over. I'm done. So they stop the boat. Andrew hops off the board. He goes and climbs back on the boat. And then Nick Peterson jumps in the water to begin to swim to the surfboard. Now, Ty Wheeler, who's on the boat, is looking at Nick when he jumps in. And he says, as soon as Nick jumped in and began swimming, something large and black began to surface beneath Nick. But Ty didn't really know what he was looking at at first. However, it didn't take very long to find out. Because just moments later, a 5 meter or roughly 16 foot great white shark would rise out of the water and its big giant jaws would latch onto Nick around Nick's left shoulder and his left arm. And it would begin dragging Nick in a circle around the boat. And Nick is screaming and yelling and he's fighting. He's fighting as hard as he can. He's punching the shark. He's trying to go for its eyes. It's not deterring the shark. And Nick would actually have the wherewithal to yell at his friends, yelling for help. But he would say, hey, throw me the board. As in, maybe he can hold on to it to keep this shark from pulling him underwater. Unfortunately, as soon as Nick would ask for that board, the shark would pull him under the water and it would actually pull him under the boat now the boys are trying to hit the shark with the oars on the boat but it's not doing anything and as soon as the shark gets nick under the boat and to the other side the boys can see the shark releases nick for a second and then it re-grabs him and when it does its jaws are now around his torso and the shark bites down and shakes and nick is torn in half at the waist and the shark takes off with Nick's upper half before the boys say a 4.5 meter great white shark, a second great white shark comes up and grabs Nick's lower half. The only thing that would ever be recovered of Nick between that day and the next day were two small portions of Nick's lungs. The sharks consumed the rest of him.